Eight weeks ago, my wife and I had our first child, a daughter. Things have been going pretty great since then. All of the horror stories about how hard it is to handle an infant have been greatly exaggerated. Changing diapers is easy, sure. The baby needs to eat every two to four hours, but we've been sleeping in shifts and so sleep deprivation hasn't been too problematic. Even when I returned to work, our system made things pretty easy. Last week was a bit rougher than normal. We had to attend my wife's sister's wedding, and my wife had to go to Blah. and my wife had to go to a brunch of pre-wedding events. As a result, our schedule had a few hiccups, and we were both pretty tired by the end of the week. Fortunately, with the weekend coming up, things could get back on track. That Saturday started like the last several Saturdays. I transitioned from the bed to the couch and went into relaxation mode. My wife was going to do the grocery shopping for the week, and so she loaded the baby into the car seat, said goodbye, and took off for the store. I putzed around the house for a little bit and made some brunch for her for when she returned. After a while, I heard the baby start to fuss, and so I made her a bottle, grabbed a rag, picked her up, and set up shop back on the couch. As was our normal routine. She fed, she burped, she fed, she threw up, she fed, and then she fell asleep on my belly while I watched Netflix. My wife got home about an hour later. I had the baby sleeping on my belly so I had a good excuse not to help out as she came inside, unloaded the groceries, took the baby out of the car seat, and got her set up in the pack and play for a nap. She got herself a plate of the food I had prepared earlier and sat down next to me on the couch to eat it. She admonished me for not helping with the groceries, and I defended my lack of action by referring to the baby on my belly. She said she put the baby down... Blah. She said she put the baby down after the groceries, and so I could still have helped. Uh, and so I could have helped. Ah, oh, fuck. And so I could have still helped. I said that didn't make any sense, but before we could continue our hushed disagreement, we were interrupted by the baby fussing from the pack and play. She gestured to her plate of food, expecting me to get the baby. I gestured to the baby on my belly, expecting her to get the baby. That was when it suddenly clicked in both of our minds that something wasn't right. We only have one baby. We exchanged a confused look before she quickly placed the plate of food on the floor and darted over to the pack and play. So I know what you're thinking, and it's exactly what I was thinking. My poor wife, in her sleep deprived state, must have left with an empty car seat and accidentally kidnapped some baby at the store. There's probably a frantic family at Walmart and a police squad on the way. Well, that's not what happened. That would have been way better. She returned with the baby, our baby, the same baby that was on my belly. We were totally stunned, to say the least. I got up and we compared the two babies. They looked the same right down to the shape of their stork bites. They smelled the same. They were wearing the same exact onesie. I tried asking if one of them was an imposter, but neither of them would answer me. One of the babies weighed a few ounces more than the other, but we didn't know the exact weights before, so that didn't help us. It's been two days, and we're both completely stumped. We've just been taking care of them, and they seem to be pretty much identical. There haven't been any Amber Alerts or missing babies mentioned on the news. We haven't told anyone. We don't really know how. I'm especially hesitant to contact the police. I don't want to endanger my family or get anyone in trouble. At the same time, I have no idea what to do.